Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping back in the channel. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your signature into a logo that you can use superimposed on top of your videos in LumaFusion. Now, there's a few different apps that we can use to make this happen. One is Affinity Photo. That's a paid app. And I think when I purchased it a few years ago, it might have been around $12.99. I think it's $15 today. But don't worry, in case you don't have Affinity Photo and you don't plan on purchasing it, I'm also going to teach you how to do it in another app that we used in a previous video called Sketch. So that I think is going to be in a future video. In this particular video, we're going to do the Affinity Photo version. But before I get into that, I just want to say I'm retiring the SL2. And I've had this camera for a long time. I did all of my older videos with this camera. The camera that I used in last video and this video is the Canon M50. So please let me know if you guys see a difference between these last two videos as compared to my older videos. Because I, to be honest with you, I'm still on the fence with this Canon M50. And the reason that I purchased the Canon M50, although it is basically the same price range as the uh, Canon SL2, is the fact that it has 4K capabilities and that I watched that Potato Jet video where he had the Canon M50 coupled with the Speed Booster and a cinema lens on that camera. And the images that came out of there were absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done is I've invested in some really good lenses. I mean, the lens that I have on there right now is the Sigma 18 to 35, and that is a $700 lens and the speed booster is over a hundred. So it is, it's a tight little package that I have on the rig right now. So in the comment section below, if you wouldn't mind, let me know what you think of the image quality. Do you think I should stay with the Canon M50 or do you think I should bring back the Canon SL2? All right, well, let's get into the signature logo. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is launch Affinity Photo right there. We're going to hit the plus button right up here in the right-hand corner. And what we want to use is new document. So let's go ahead and hit new document. Now we're going to leave everything as is. The only thing that we're going to change is that we want this particular project to have a transparent background. So we just want to choose this little checkerboard right there. Now we're going to hit OK and that is going to start our new project. The first thing I want to do is just shrink this down a little bit. So now we want to add our signatures into this particular checkerboard area. But first we have to make a decision. What color do we want it to be in? Do we want it to be white? Do we want it to be black? I would prefer the signature to be in white because I imagine it superimposed in a box on top of one of my videos. So the first thing that we want to do is select the paintbrush tool, which is right here. And before I do that, let me just say, if you ever want to know where something is in Affinity Photo, just hold down this little question mark in the corner and keep it pressed down and that is going to show you what everything is. It's going to tell you what the different personas are and personas are basically different. I mean, for a simpler term, there are different categories within Affinity Photo, but we are going to be within this persona and that is the photo persona. So what we want to do is select the paintbrush. And the paintbrush is going to be on the left hand side over here. Now you might notice these little ticks by these different logos or icons. That means that there's sub menus off of these different little tools, but we're just going to focus on the paintbrush tool in this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and choose the paintbrush. Now, when you choose the paintbrush, it's going to drop down this menu here, and this is going to give you control over your paintbrush. So right now, uh, what I want the width to be, to have like a nice crisp signature and not have it too wavy and pixelated and bumpy, I am going to keep my width at 15. So you guys can make your width thicker, and just to do that, you would just hit this. You can just roll through it, the opacity, of course, you can make the opacity go down. And of course, we're going to choose our color. You can choose your color directly from here on the color wheel, but I want to choose my color from up here because I just want to pick white and make it nice and simple and done. 
So what we want to do now is begin to write in into this section our signature or it doesn't have to be your signature. It can be anything that you want to have appear. And you might notice that little box just popped up. Don't worry about that. Don't let it startle you. Just keep going. And I'm just going to say that that's my signature right there. But let's say all of a sudden, you know what? You messed up. You're not happy with the way your signature looks. No problem. That's why there is an eraser tool over here. So let's choose the eraser. And I've bumped up my eraser width quite a bit to 900. So this way, you know, I don't want to miss any little bit of anything that I want to erase and get rid of. So I always like to make that eraser really big. However, when we're working in other projects, we are going to have to refine the size of the eraser because we're not going to want it to be that ginormous. So let me go back to my paintbrush and I am going to scribble in my signature. I think that looks good. So what I want to do, being that I'm going to put this in a box in LumaFusion, I just kind of want to crop this down. So I'm going to choose the crop tool, which is on the left hand side over here. And it's a square looking thing with a diagonal line running through it. Sort of crop it down to the size that I want it to be. And that looks good to me. And whenever you're done with a step in Affinity Photo, you're going to have to hit apply to make that happen. Okay, so there we go. That's what our finished product is going to look like. And the final step here is going to be to export this. And how we're going to do that is by hitting the document icon up here and we're going to choose export. Now be careful to only choose export because right underneath it is export LUT or lookup table. We do not want to choose that option. We want to choose the very first one. And now this is going to bring up the different variables that we can export this with. We definitely want to export this as a PNG because we're using that transparent background. And we can also choose the name. So let's go ahead and tap the file name and Tap over in the middle of untitled the actual word because we want to make sure that we're not changing that .png extension at all. So let's just go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to put signature logo. That looks good. And the last step is to hit OK. And this is going to bring up a, a selection of where we can save these. So I always save everything to my iCloud gear channel and just hit add and that's going to save that to my gear channel file. So now what I want to do is take it out of my gear channel file and bring it over into LumaFusion. So let me launch my channel and there it is. Now of course you can't see it because the writing is in white but let's go ahead and copy it to LumaFusion. Okay, so here it is. So what I want to do is uh, we'll just go ahead and start a new project. And we're going to just name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to label this signature logo. And I'm going to leave it at 24 frames a second. Hit the plus symbol. So now what I want to do is make this into a green screen effect. So we know what that means. We're going to hit the plus symbol on the bottom of the screen right in the middle. It's the only thing that's really illuminated down there pretty much. And we are going to choose main title and that's going to drop just a regular title into our timeline. We're going to go ahead and double click that. And of course, we're immediately going to throw this away. And what we want to do is hit the plus symbol, add a shape, and we are going to make this green and make it the entire size of the whole screen. Grab that signature logo. There we go. I'm just going to stretch that out the entire double click it. And now we can make this any size that we want, but I'm going to make it pretty big. That And the reason that I'm going to leave it pretty big is because we are exporting this as a green screen. And the larger that you have it when we're doing this, the better resolution it's going to be when we bring it back into our videos and shrink it down to size. And that looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add another title. So hit the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and just choose overlay title. 
Now what we want to do, of course, is immediately throw that away. And now we want to hit the plus symbol, add a shape. Okay, and we want to make this pretty big here. It doesn't really matter where I put it now because I'm definitely going to have to tweak it. Now what I want this to be is my signature with just a thin white border around it and that's how I want to export it as. So what I need to do is the opacity of the face color I want to basically make it nothing and then the edge color I'm going to turn this edge color white. There we go and I can change the width of that by moving this slider right here. So I'll, I'll decide how thick I want it, and I think that looks pretty good. Because if you, if you make it too thin in this particular screen, what's going to happen when you export it back in to use it in your videos, it's simply going to fade away and disappear. So you wanna make sure that it does have a good thickness here. And just position it the way you wanna have it to where you guys think it looks good. I think that looks good. Now bear in mind, if we're planning on having this in a video and we know that it's going to be running a lot longer than four seconds, then we can just pull this out to be however long you want it to be. We, I think we should do at least a minimum of about 10 seconds. So we'll go ahead and just make everything 10 seconds. And then we're just going to snip everything at the 10 second mark. So now what I want to do is export this to my iCloud and store it there and I can bring it in whenever I want to work with this in the videos. Now in order to get the cleanest resolution, let's go ahead and export this at the highest quality, which is 4K. We're going to hit the share button, which is right down here at the bottom, the one right in the middle. We're going to choose movie and I am going to choose iCloud Drive and like I said, 4K, you can change the resolution right there, but I'm exporting it as 4K. And just hit the share button. And it's going to ask you to name it. And I'm just going to put signature logo white and hit the share button one last time. And that's immediately going to save that to my iCloud drive. It's going to ask you what folder you want to save it in and I'll, I'll save it there. Okay, so what I want to do now, go to my iCloud Drive where I just saved that. There we go. And I'm going to send that to LumaFusion. And let's, let's drag it down here and see. So of course we have to make this into a chroma key value. So we're going to double click that. We're going to go over to the key for chroma key and choose green screen. And you can see, you know, the border came through nice and thick and you can see how rough the signature looks right there. So we're going to have to move the sliders to make it look good. And actually that looks pretty good. So let's go to frame and fit. You can make it any size that you want. And there it is. There's my signature in the middle of a box. And of course, with this particular method, you don't have to use your signature. You can use anything that you want to use. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I appreciate you joining me. And until next time, wear that sunblock.